So we're continuing to develop our English online teaching uh, website, which is obviously EnglishOnlineTeacher.net. Um, but I wanted to share some of my teaching resources. One of the first things is Audio City or Audacity, and up to you how it's said. <laughs> Depending who I talk to, they say different ways. But this records audio really, really well, and it's cheap. Uh, well, it's free easy to use and it's used by a lot of a lot of people now one of the things I do with students is I record record words they struggle with like for example traffic jam um, warning uh, humid there's particular words that different students struggle with and what I will do is like here I take it from a couple of awkward words and I will make it into a sentence uh, for example it will take so it's a short sentence with those words in and then as you can see I've created a load of sentences then what I do is I simply press record it will record my audio I am going to see a film I am going to see a film as you can see, it's very easy to use. To After I finish work in the office, I am going to see a film. So I save those into little um, smaller files. Uh, let's see if I'm going to open the folder. Here we go. So what I do is I create the sentences and rename the files as the complete sentence so the student knows what the sentence is and obviously from a list form I can actually see what the sentence is so if we're talking on Skype I'm actually aware of which one they're using to practice their speech but also they've got the recordings to go over them um, because what you're looking for is that after your lesson you can send these off to them they can practice them over the next few days and then come back to you and see if they put uh, pronunciations improved um, mine's not so good today because I've got a bit of a dry throat um, but what I do is I upload them into Dropbox and then just send the link over to the student and they get these f files and as you can see I name each folder with the student's name that way each set can build up over a period of time that are specific to that student in the same way, you could actually develop different sections for particular regions. For example, if you know uh, Vietnamese struggle with certain words or from Thailand, what regional issues with the speech, you could actually base an entire script almost based on those awkward words so they can practice them in a more structured form, you know, as if it's two people talking. Um, but... I find it the quickest and easiest way is to just generate these sentences with the words that I picked up while we were talking, let them go away and practice them for a bit, and then they can come back and tell me how they're getting on. And obviously, literally telling me how they're getting on. All right, thanks for watching.